Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to create a DBT cloud account. So there are two ways of using the DBT. One way is using the DBT cloud, which is the GUI interface to use the DBT functionalities. And the other way is using the DBT core, which is the command line interface to use the DBT core functionalities. So uh, in this particular lecture, we are going to create a DBT cloud account. So in the Google search bar, I'm going to uh, type dbt cloud and then I'm going to click this link and then I'm going to create a free account. So since I already have this account, so I'm going to click login. So you are going to provide uh, email address, first name, last name and other information in order to create this dbt account. So I'm going to provide the email address and the password in order to log in. Okay, just provide the email address and the password. So I have already created my DBT account. Just sign in, click sign in. So this is going to take me to the uh, DBT cloud uh, section. Okay, now develop deploy and documentation so we are going to discuss these three tabs so first of all what i will do so i've already created these two projects okay analytics these three projects so i'm going to create a new account new project so i will create a i'm going to give a new account name so let's say let me dbt project is the name account name create afterwards I'm going to uh, connect with database so I'm going to select the snowflake you can connect with other databases like BigQuery Redshift etc click next okay in order to connect with snowflake you need to provide account name database in the warehouse in order to get the account name i'm going to go in my snowflake section so this is my snowflake account so from here i'm going to get the account name let me just copy this and paste here account name so let me just copy the first part okay just paste here dot so this is going to be my account name database so i have already created my database in snowflake so these two are default databases so when you are going to create the snowflake account you will get these two databases and the, this one i have created okay so i will provide this database here uh, then i am going to provide the warehouse this is the warehouse which i have created let me just provide the warehouse name and next is that test connection okay something went wrong check the log for more information so okay there is something dot okay it has to be dot test connection okay so this is the right account name this i'm going to pick this part and this part and i'm going to in between i'm going to use the dot okay now click next the next step is to connect to the repository so in my github i have already created a repository uh, and the name of repository is dbt lab is the name of repository so what i will do i will go to the github and configure github integration only select repositories uh, so which so dbt lab is the repository uh, so look i have already created this dbt lab repository and this is the link https link and this is the ssh link okay now fine uh, the next step is to install install this so i am giving the permission 
dbt i am giving the permission to dbt to access uh, to read and write in my repository now afterwards i will go in again in github and i am going to select this uh, repository name okay choose a repository start developing in ide so this is the name of project these are different projects analytics dwh dw h underscore project okay now afterwards look this is the name of my repository which is uh, name of the uh, okay look repository yes so next step is to initialize dbt project click this initialize initialization step look now once i'm going to click the initialize dbt project i'm going to get these different folders which i'm going to discuss later so now in order to get the changes in in my repository now these changes so i have to commit i have to click this commit and sync so once i'm going to click this uh, button so whatever the data i have in my dbt here it is going to be shown in my repository okay it is going to add in my repository now commit and sync commit changes now after doing this i'm going to see the changes i'm going to see the data in my repository look i have this data in my repository so whatever the change i am going to do in my dbt cloud environment and after performing the commit operation so the change is going to be displayed in my repository as well okay so this is how you connect the dbt with with your repository and with with database like snowflake so hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning